Good Friday evening, Southeast Texas. Hope you're doing well. Looking at a warmer weekend, there is a slight chance of showers coming up Saturday night as another front comes through, but uh, Sunday looking pretty nice. A strong cold front due in Monday night. Tuesday morning could bring a wintry mix. Quite a bit of uncertainty this far out. Then cold weather, possibly some of the coldest weather we've seen this winter, expected Wednesday morning. Clouds moving back into southeast Texas. No rain. This is all due to an upper level disturbance that's creating some snow up towards, uh, well, we'll say Eureka Springs up in the northern sections of uh, Arkansas. And those clouds extend ahead of it into East Texas, that front out in the Gulf of Mexico. Future cast showing a few of those clouds. I think we could see more than what you see here on this particular model. Regardless, low temperatures will really be dictated by just how much cloud cover we see in the morning. If we have more clouds than what we're expecting, it'll be warmer. Low temperatures reasonably look like they'll be in the upper 30s in the lakes to the lower and middle 40s here in the triangle. Then as the day wears on after a chilly start, we expect clouds to gradually thicken up. We'll call it variable cloudiness for now with high temperatures into the lower 60s. On the Gulf of Mexico, no advisories with slightly choppy seas around 1 to 2 feet in your coastal marine forecast. Looking at an east wind at 10 to 15 knots, water temperature 52. High tides at Sabine Pass at 721 a.m. and 759 p.m. Our forecast for tonight, we'll call it partly cloudy, a chilly night with light, mm, light east to southeast winds. Again, if we see more clouds than what we forecast, then it'll be warmer than those upper 30s to lower 40s. Then tomorrow, a gradual increase in cloud cover. We'll call it variable cloudiness. It looks like a dry day. High temperatures in the lower 60s. Then tomorrow night, we'll see a better chance of rain at 20% coverage tomorrow night. After that front goes by, beautiful day coming up on Sunday. Monday, a spring day, a breezy day with south winds off the Gulf of Mexico. Then Monday night... This is the way it's looking. This is one only one forecast model. There's a couple of them showing this. But notice, could see a wintry mix. Again, this is not set in stone, and I'm not forecasting that, but I'm just showing you that some of the models are actually indeed showing this. So could be an interesting uh, situation coming up as we head towards Monday morning, but by the afternoon we expect plentiful sun and high temperatures rebounding into the mid to upper, uh, say, 40s, but not the best of news as far as wind chills as those wind chills could be as cold as the teens to lower 20s across the area. Again, far out. This could change. It could be warmer than what is shown here. But by Wednesday morning, oh my goodness, maybe one of the coldest mornings so far this year or this season, low temperatures could drop into the mid to upper 20s across the area. Unless anything changes, this looks pretty good at this point. Otherwise, the clouds thicken up as we head on into Wednesday afternoon. Chance of showers back in the forecast coming up on Thursday as another cold front comes in Thursday night into Friday. Download our app. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And there's always more weather at 12newsnow.com weather. Stay safe. Have a fantastic weekend.